<laughs> Holy son of a... It's the intro for the video. Hey, welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I'm back for round two. We got a little bit of a snafu going on. Showed up today to do the second of those hot hives. This is a hot hive house. And uh, not only did we find another hive, but we've, they've gotten two more since we pulled that one out. So now this, hive, this house has three hives in it. So here's what we had before. We had bees coming and going right here, splitting off, going two ways. A hive here, hive here, nothing down there. Pulled a hive out of here, real strong hive. Got everything out. I'm talking about we didn't leave a bee walking in there. They've done caught another one. I fleared it from upstairs. You got a hive here again. This is the second one we found when we were out here before. They weren't using this location before. They were coming in down here and walking. Uh, since we renailed the side, and I guess they decided it was easier to come in down here, whatever. But now here's a more active third location over here. I think today I'm gonna walk on this one. Let them make a decision. They've just got old war outside and with openings all over it. I can't do anything for them. I can keep coming in here pulling them and pulling them. But they'll just keep coming back. It's swarm season. They're just going to keep catching them. So just to talk to the property manager. Let them make a decision. Try to get them all at once instead of piecemealing this thing. Let's sit here and have a quick conversation in traffic. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna come down on some pest control companies real quick. While I do, I'm gonna show you this marsh out here. It's brackish water. And uh, I've got four removals scheduled surrounding this marsh area. Bees thrive in this stuff. Brackish water's where fresh meets salt. It's not fresh, it's not fully salt water, but the, bee, the bees really like it. Just, just uh, like they like a salt water pool and they just really do good around here. We're on the way to our special house. I've been telling the property manager, you gotta get the siding repaired as soon as we get the bees out. Um, here it is, close to lunchtime, we're about to get there. I just now find out she's had siding guys on site all day. <laughs> <laughs> I told her, I said, you need to let me schedule with a contractor so the contractor can get in there and reside the place as soon as we're done. She's got them trying to reside it while we're working on pulling two aggressive colonies out. We'll see. We'll see how this is going to go. Uh, siding guys just wasted a day. Say it ain't so. Oh, worse. No freaking way. They're coming in by the window. Golly, right. man. Possibly coming in, but there's they're a, definitely coming in out of right there's there. There's at least another one in the building already. This building is nothing but a giant swarm trap. That's all it is. Uh, this inside here, ceiling's just screwed up from the last time we we did it. And we're just going to unscrew it, drop that ceiling again, not charging them. I told them to hurry up and get the siding on it when we, when we pulled out last time. And uh, they didn't do it in time, catching all these swarms. So the ceiling's not finished yet. We're just going to unscrew it and drop it, pull that one out. No charge on that one, but they are paying for these others. This one shouldn't be that difficult. It's going to be all new cones. It's going to be soft. Hey, Pete. Yep. Do you smell that smell in here? Ooh, that smell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's blowing my eyebrows up. <laughs> a little bit of kitty and a little bit of... Mm. Yeah, we need to do um, selfies with this one. <laughs> How long has it been? Five weeks? Yep, that long. Jeez, this is a space that we pulled a very aggressive hive out of. These bees are really calm. Definitely different genetics. Super calm bees. They are not attacking, but man, look how fast they have built. This is a, a good triple basketball size. Well, you're going to go without mask, huh? Go yeah. for it. Well, the last picture we took is with these. That's why I did it the same way. Oh, yeah. That's right. You need to flip that around to do a selfie. Selfie time. I'll, get a, I'll just video and get a screenshot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating. 
These are some super gentle bees. Super you, gentle bees. Can't be, but it's as big as you can see the marks from the other one. Yeah, I need to look. I need to document that quickly, and then we got to get back to work. I'm going to show you how big this thing is compared to last time. You don't see any attachments points over here from the previous hive on this side because they have covered that up. They've, they've attached at least as far over as the last one. And they only fall short of the last one by about six inches or so. So in about five weeks, they have built this massive, this is a two by 10. Is that two by 10 or two by eight? No, it's two by 10. That's a two by 10 by I'd say 24 inches long by 16 inches wide, 15 and a half inches wide, 15 inches wide. It all looks like white comb, every bit of it. Very centered, it's got a little bit of yellow to it, but. That might have been from sitting on ceilings or something. Could be. Felt like we came and checked go with the player and went, ah, it might be here. We don't know how big it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. We know it was an empty cavity. It was. Well, when I came back and I shot the flare from upstairs above it, the heat signature for this was as big as it was for that first time we pulled out. And I was like, man, no way. There's, there's, <laughs> there's no <laughs> way. But, no way. But yeah, yeah. There's not as many bees, obviously. No, it doesn't look as, as not Not even close to, it, to as many bees as last time, but still really nice, healthy colony. Here's a little idea of the lay of the land. Here's, here's the hive we're working on. Next room over, hive number two right here. Now in there, we had drywall over acoustic tile. I'm hoping, I don't, I don't know who's been taping on this, but I'm assuming the tenant has to try to block bees out. And I'm hoping there's no ceiling above this. There's just gonna be insulation and maybe a rat's nest or two. <laughs> There's the end of old comb right there. <laughs> That little fingertip grab. There's your first little section. Oh, sorry. All right. That's a, that's, oh, can you see the marks where the old one was? It's so crazy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, bump you? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's gonna wear a nest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, he got you. Oh, got you. <laughs> got you. Yes, what? he did. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> you're starting to get a little aggressive. Yeah, I Home. and we got the queen yeah you got a little grass while I got the gloves on they started early on oh. started coming after that arm oh. the arm that had the vacuum was in it I see y'all gonna be here all day yes yeah, it's the first one this is not the second one yeah this hey, still got two more they built this in six weeks yeah yeah because we had that whole column that whole uh colony gone before we wanted to make these cuts to get all this open oh so it wasn't, it wasn't one up here it, no that was just that was just turned out to just be scouts over there looking at that but i told uh the guy up front what's his name uh, uh the older taller guy. Him? anyway i told him what to seal up over there because they were scouting that pretty hard it looked like an active colony yeah. there was so many scouting it but you, they those are bees just trying to get out those are not a, another colony Called a friend over here that's close by, about four miles away from where we're working, three and a half miles away. He's got 
two active colonies and one empty. I'm fishing to fill that empty one for him. We just dumped one vac basket. Got their queen right there. Got them fanning on the box. The box has had bees in it before. There's not any drawn comb in there. There's a couple of little bitty uh, burr comb pieces about all they got. He just baited this with a Q-tip with lemongrass oil yesterday. And I forgot he told me that. I forgot to take it out. And uh, kind of too late now. <laughs> They'll just have to deal with the lemongrass oil smell. On this side. It's a little slit on the bottom. In the bottom of the box, there's probably 500 dead bees that we vacuumed up out of the windowsill and stuff. So these are not ones that killed, that got killed in the vac process. They were just ones that made it inside this apartment, and we just sucked them up uh, just to keep the job site clean. And the march is on. So all I sprayed them with was just cold water. And uh, John, the man that built this vac we're using, that's something he likes to do, it's something I do. And a lot, some people will spray sugar water, but just some cold water will make them cluster up and calm down so they're not eating your lunch. Because when you dump them out of a vac, especially shortly after picking them up, there are a lot of times not in the best of moods and they will really let you know it. But having the lid and they're still trying to march up the side? No, no, they're gripping on the front. As long as they can smell that the colony's inside, we got enough of them in there with the queen that they're fanning and got a couple of them fanning on the front of the box. They know what's up. Nice it's to, like they're coming out of the earth. Nice to go on vacation and come home and find bees came in. Yeah. Oh, look, look at the tree. Up, look up above his head. Mm, I was looking at him. Yes. That's exactly what they are. Oh yeah, nice looking. Called dessert. <laughs> How's that taste after a, after a KFC dinner? Tart. This has more meat than the thigh did. <laughs> it does. Tell them about your KFC birds. They died of malnutrition before they cooked them. All right, we're starting on number two somewhere in this area. 
Yeah, I'm just talking a video. Okay. I'm just locating it right now before we cover everything up. Yeah. I see cone coming down right there. next to the insulation right there. There it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, almost had a stinger. Oh, really <laughs> That might be the end of it. This might be a small one. Let him get up on that platform so he can get him a nice close up selfie. Yeah, he likes the <laughs> duck when he's up there. Holy sh! He goes to about above the wall and stops. These are the these are the guys in my office. <laughs> As if the last batch wasn't bad enough. Hey, what's the name of your uh, your uh, YouTube channel? 628 Dirt Rooster. 628 Dirt Rooster. Right there. <laughs> this is our man right here. Punching up a little bit. They know it's coming. <laughs> they they know it's coming. Well, you remember they were all over here. Now yeah. look, they're all up on the sides. I didn't know. What, what did we record earlier? Did we? I think we skipped. We weren't recording when we talked about the framing. I want you to see this framing. This is a structural member to a two-story building between floors, but there's been multiple hive removals. This would be electrician's part of the deal. Yeah, that would be electrician. And then somebody did another chunk, which it now has separated the two of them. Yeah. The boards aren't even lining up anymore. But outside of this, behind the siding is also a band joist that has been spliced so many times it's pitiful. And those were definitely from a bee remover because we were told that's who did it by the property owner. Just not a good way to do. Don't be cutting structural members unless you can put it back and uh, make sure you have it jacked if you need to jack and shore it. Make sure it's structured where it's shored up. Okay, so we got the queen on the last one. These are gonna be a little more difficult to, to pull because they're running long ways with the, with the floor joists. What we're going to do is we're going to start, this is out, outboard, uh, that's an exterior wall. We're going to start on this side to try to run the bees this way because we don't want to be chasing a queen in that out, outer space out there. She would be almost impossible to get. So you want me to so, go this way? Yeah, exactly. Because okay, I was going to start that way. Yeah, now we're going to work this way. Okay, that light and on the vacuum and I'll be ready to go. it's dark outside and they're kind of homing up it's yours it's 8 30 at night i've been stung in the nose twice <laughs> i'm tired my back's trying to lock up you're old i'm old <laughs> <laughs> messing with these young girls and they're getting you every time yeah these young girls are tagging me Tearing my fingers up. They're not being too bad, really. They're just in a tight space in that those first couple combs. Trying to get those out. They didn't like that ride. <laughs> That's a, your brake lights on. <laughs> really quiet too. A small wall beetle hanging out. blocked off, picking up a few stragglers and finish up this room, rehang this ceiling, and we out. 
I don't want to generalize on pest control companies because there's several around here that are really well trained and that refer business to us that don't kill honeybees for any reason because they know the cost associated with killing a honeybee or with killing a beehive, not, not a single honeybee. But this one company in particular that I keep having to follow up behind is missing the mark. They're not killing the honeybees. They're trying to. It's not that they're not trying, but they're damaging property. The house I just left. The insulation in the floor is so saturated, it's dripping like they had a, a water line bust in the house. They sprayed so much product underneath that house into the insulation, and the bees are still alive. Same thing yesterday. The one today. I had to call them out last year. I'm not going to give you the name, but you'll know. It starts with an O. It's a really big company. Train your guys. Tell them when they when they get honeybees, and they know they know that that it's honeybees. They're they're able to identify them. Get a bee removal expert. Not that you're hurting my business or anything like that. I'm just saying you're costing people extra money because you're doing damage to the property, and they still got to pay a bee remover to come out and get them. Yesterday. Uh, another company it wasn't the the big o sprayed in between floors in an apartment complex so much product that they saturated a downstairs bathroom ceiling to the point that the complex had to rent dehumidifiers and air movers to dry that ceiling out and it still wasn't still wasn't dry when i went and looked at it i partially blame the complex for that because they called me a week and a half ago and I told them my schedule was booked for at least a week and they weren't patient enough to wait. So they didn't have a, nobody was getting stung. It's not Africanized bees, it was some really gentle bees. I warned them against what they said they were gonna do instead. They went ahead with their plan, didn't wanna listen. Now I've got to go out at an additional cost, uh, well above what I would have charged to begin with because now we've got to suit up with Tyvek and all that kind of stuff because the whole ceiling, the entire ceiling of a downstairs bathroom is wet with poison. And I don't know what they used. Uh, I don't want that stuff on my skin. Even, even when it's dry, when we start cutting drywall, all that dust lands on your skin, you're sweaty. Well, guess where it goes? It goes in your pores. So now you've got poison coming into your skin that I don't know what it is don't want any of that we're gonna be wearing uh, all kind of protection it's gonna cost them extra money it, it's double in the price of the removal plus they had to pay, pay the pest control company plus they're probably gonna to have to replace that whole ceiling in that bathroom yeah so that's my rant we got some really good pest control companies out there some that refer work to us that that really know what they're doing are bay pest control and critter getters really good guys if you need a pest control company call one of those guys uh, that's it for my rant. Don't cry, Randy. Don't cry. Don't cry, Randy. Hold on. Don't cry. Hold on. Oh, please, brother. Don't cry. <laughs>